Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrink. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zain al-Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad al-Khalifa, received the President of Bahrain Maritime Sports Association, Sheikh Khalifa bin Abdullah al-Khalifa. In the presence of the GSA Deputy President, Zain al-Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed al-Khalifa, and GSA CEO, Dr. Abdurrahman Askar. Zain al-Sheikh Khalid was briefed on the plans and programs of the association for the first phase. Zain has commended their efforts to develop at Bahraini sports at all levels and affirm the support of the GSA for all endeavors to bolster the status of sports in the kingdom. Sheikh Khalifa highlighted the association's preparations for Bahrain to host the Sailing World Championships in October and extended his gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his support to Bahraini sports. The President of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inspected the Ali Health Center in the Northern Governorate to be updated about the progress of work on the expansion of the center and the implementation of the self management project. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa stressed the drive to develop medical facilities across Bahrain, noting that plans set out to upgrade the health sector in support of the development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. With the follow up of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He valued the progress of the National Health Insurance Scheme, Sahati, noting the Choose Your Doctor, which is being implemented as part of the Self Management Project Primary Healthcare Center's Acting Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Lulwa Rashid Shwetr, lauded the SCH led fruitful role to develop the health sector and bolster its sustainability through the implementation of the National Health Insurance Scheme. The Self Management pro Project, which is in line with the government's program, has embodied the objectives of the 2030 Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. The scheme is also an implementation of national initiatives aimed at continuing to improve the quality of health services, achieving community partnership and the satisfaction of beneficiaries. <coughs> The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, received the President of the Middle East Institute, Paul Salem, and his accompanying delegation. The meeting reviewed the latest political and security developments and challenges facing the region. They also discussed cooperation opportunities in the fields of research and studies focusing on Middle East issues. The Minister of Commerce and Industry, Zayed Zayani, inaugurated the first Bahraini Omani perfume exhibition held at the Avenues Mall and organized by the Zari International Consulting and Exhibitions and the Bahraini Omani Friendship Society with the participation of wide selection of local and regional perfume companies and specialists. The Minister of Industry and Commerce affirmed Bahrain's keenness to enrich investment opportunities and build strategic cooperations to achieve sustainable development goals by supporting and adopting projects that enhance local economy, such as the conference and exhibition industry in addition to seeking to attract many international and regional exhibitions to make Bahrain a high standard global exhibition center. The minister toured the exhibition was briefed on the future project of the Bahrain Virtual Museum, the first of its kind in the world, a project that relies on virtual reality to achieve strategic objectives in various fields in Bahrain, especially education, tourism and e-commerce, supporting development in accordance with 2030 vision and keeping pace with digital transformation and current technological development developments and communication. He asserted that this will increase the demand for experts in the field of modern technologies, including research, training and empowerment of youth for future jobs in collaboration with the government. The Interior Ministry Under Secretary for Nationality, Sports and Residence Affairs, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the Labour Market Regulatory Authority Chief Executive Nov Jamshir. Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa highlighted the importance of such meetings to promote partnership, cooperation, and integration between strategic partners for significant accomplishments and outcomes and achieve common goals in enhancing provided services by the two organizations. He added that cooperation between the two organizations resulted in many facilities and development in the processing of applications of migrant workers.
The Kingdom of Bahrain took part in the 110th regular ministerial session of the Economic and Social Council hosted by the Arab League Secretary General. Bahrain's delegation was led by Financial Affairs Undersecretary at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, Yusuf Abdullah Mahmoud. The meeting endorsed a number of recommendations and resolutions related to economic, social and development issues of common priority to the Arab region in light of the current global challenges. It also approved issues related to the Greater Arab Free Trade Area and the Arab Customs Union. It also discussed the developments of efforts to ensure Arab food security and the progress made in implementing the second phase of the Aid for Trade Initiatives for Arab States program. It also reviewed the ongoing Arab international cooperation in the economic and social fields in addition to the progress made by Arab countries in achieving the goals of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The session also discussed the ongoing preparations for the 31st Arab Summit, stressing the importance of stepping up joint Arab action in the economic and social fields. In a new achievement for the Kingdom of Bahrain in the field of education, the Kingdom led world countries in the rate of teachers obtaining the title of expert teacher from the global company Microsoft as nearly 3,000 teachers obtained this title for the year 2022-2023. The achievement confirms the great development witnessed by the educational process in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the constant keenness to provide teachers with the necessary skills and enable them to perform their role in a distinctive manner and to contribute effectively to the employment of modern modern technologies and tools to achieve the desired goals and improve the educational process continuously. Assistant Undersecretary for Public Health at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Maryam al hajri stressed the readiness and preparation of medical staff to take precautionary measures to combat infection for any disease cases and follow up on contacts. She announced that the coverage rates of measles vaccination in the Kingdom of Bahrain are, 100, are very advanced as the coverage with the first dose reached 100%, while the vaccination rate with the second dose is 98% for the target groups. Dr. Maryam al hajri noted that the Regional Committee for Verifying the Elimination of measles and rubella in the eastern Mediterranean region of the World Health Organization approved the kingdom is free of measles, rubella and rubella syndrome since 2019, making the kingdom one of the first countries in the region to eliminate measles and rubella. Dr. al Hadri explained that Bahrain's reports have received wide praise through the achievements of the national program to eliminate measles and rubella, including the expanding of immunization programs and epidemiological and laboratory surveillance at the public health department of the Ministry of Health. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Arab Observatory for Human Rights and Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel Asumi, praised the ambitious program set by the Kingdom of Bahrain to expand beneficiaries of alternative sanctions programs and integrate them into society within the framework of the enlightened vision of His Majesty the King. Adel Asumi praised the initiative to coordinate with the private sector to provide job opportunities within the alternative sanctions program, which comes from the royal directives of His Majesty the King, in a way that enhances the comprehensive development process of the Kingdom of Bahrain. He also valued the great efforts made by the government headed by His Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in continuing to expand the application of the Alternative Penal Code in a manner that ensures the enhancement of benefit from it and the achievement of its noble goals for the individual and society. Al Asumi noted the efforts of the Ministry of Interior to implement the Alternative Penal Code and the qualitative leaps it witnessed in a record period in the field of human rights. In our international news, the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness, in the international news, the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, received President of the Republic of Bulgaria, Ruman Radev. The two leaders explored avenues of cooperation between the UAE and Bulgaria, notably in the fields of economy, investment, environment, renewable energy, and food security. They also exchanged views on the latest regional and global developments, stressing on the importance of peace development, stability and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed said that the UAE is now one of Bulgaria's key trading partners in the region to the two leaders also witnessing or witness the signing of several memoranda of understanding the MOUs to enhance joint cooperation. Saudi Arabia's Ministry of Tourism announced that residents of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries can now apply for an e-visa to visit the kingdom through an online portal. 
making it easier than ever to visit the country. The GCC residents can now apply for an e-visa through the online portal at the www.visitsaudi.com backslash visa and residents of the UK, US and the EU can apply for a visa on arrival in the kingdom. Holders of a valid tourist or business visa from the UK, US or one of the Schengen Agreement countries continue to be able to apply for a visa on arrival provided that it has been used at least once to enter the country granting the visa. Saudi Arabia's Minister of Tourism Ahmed Al Khatib said that new rules elevate the visitor experience which is at the heart of the tourism sector's future. Saudi Arabia's UN envoy said that confronting the growing threat of global terror groups and organizations is one of the most pressing issues facing the international community. Abdelaziz Al Wasl was speaking during a UN Economic and Social Council meeting about threats to international peace and security from transitional terror groups. He spoke about the systemic and deliberate violations of international law by the Iranian backed Houthi militia in Yemen and its attacks on Saudi Arabia and the UAE as well as its attacks on international maritime traffic. Al Wasl has called on the international community to take immediate and decisive action to stop these threats, especially those which targeted civilians, civilian infrastructure and global energy supplies, adding that Saudi Arabia rejected and denounced any acts of terrorism. He drew attention to the kingdom's efforts in bringing about a ceasefire in Yemen.